This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. The underlying causes of late dislocations occurring more than a year after total hip arthroplasty are often difficult to diagnose or predict, and recurrence is common. Polyethylene wear, acetabular cup malposition, implant loosening, and neurological impairments are well-known risk factors for late dislocations. Recently, spinopelvic imbalance has also been implicated as a risk factor. The lumbar spine, pelvis, and hip form a complex mechanical unit to enable patients to compensate for limited posterior pelvic motion with greater hip flexion while sitting. Likewise, patients with limited anterior pelvic motions compensate by hyperextending their hips in order to stand. In other words, changes in the spine and pelvis lead to changes at the hip. Researchers from the University of Southern California and Yokohama City University performed a study to determine the impact of these spinopelvic imbalances on late dislocations. The study included 20 patients who experienced a late dislocation after a primary hip replacement. The patients had a mean age of 71 years, and their spinopelvic motion was assessed using radiographic measurements. 55% of these patients had a posterior dislocation, while 45% had an anterior dislocation. Spinopelvic imbalance was observed in 90% of the patients. In fact, the team found that every one-degree loss of spinopelvic motion was associated with a 0.9-degree compensatory increase in femoral motion. These results suggest that spinopelvic imbalances associated with increased age may precipitate degenerative changes of the spine and contribute to late dislocation risk. Thus, spinopelvic imbalance should be considered along with the other known risk factors for a late dislocation following a hip replacement.